We recently changed how to adjust pay information in Procast. This video will show how to use the new Pay Rate Info tab on the personnel record and explain some of the added benefits for this process. Previously, users were able to edit the Salary and Wage Information section of the personnel record. These fields have now been made read-only and show which pay rate is currently effective. All editing for pay information will be done on the new Pay Rate Info tab. This tab was created to log historic pay information. Previously, changes to these fields could only be viewed in an audit report. Now, users will have a list of all historic pay rates for each employee ordered by the date it was made effective. All existing pay info in your system was given a blank effective date when we made this change. You can continue to use this row by default without needing to modify anything. However, now when a pay rate change happens, you will need to insert a row with the new information. Looking at this screen, you can see that I updated Harry Carr's pay information on October 1st, 2021 and January 1st, 2022. As I record this video, today's date is November 15th, so currently the pay for 10-1 is effective on the previous tab. Therefore, reading this entire table, you can see that Harry was paid $3,500 previous to 10-1, $3,750 between 10-1 and Jan-1, and he was even switched to multiple hourly rates at the turn of the new year. The labor distribution process will be able to use the proper pay rates for each correct time period when creating labor journals. You may be wondering, why do we make this change? There are a few added benefits to the new process. The first is rather obvious. You now have an easy to read pay rate history for all employees, subcontractors, and consultants. The second is that you can update future pay rates for employees without affecting the current period's labor journals. For example, if you have annual raises for your staff in January, but still need to create journals for December, you no longer have to wait until December journals are created before inputting the new rates. The third involves salaries and partial pay periods. Now, if you hire someone mid-period, you do not have to modify the current or base days in the labor journal to get to the accurate cost. In this example, you can insert a row with the effective date that the person started working with that period's partial salary amount to be paid. Then, you can create a second row starting the next period with their full salaried amount to be used moving forward. And last but not least, this allows for personnel record integrations with payroll providers. I'd recommend speaking to your consultant about which payroll platforms we are currently building integrations with. Thanks for learning about the new way to change pay information in Procast. As always, if you have additional questions about what you see on the screen, you can select the Help button in the upper right-hand corner of the form.